Hi, 8th grade. So today we're working on G melodic minor, which is the final form of the minor. Uh, for string players, actually, melodic minor is the most used um, for several reasons, one of which being the fact that we are melody instruments, okay? Um, we're one line, single line instruments, which means we read one line of music usually. Uh, and so the idea of having a melodic minor scale makes sense for us, melody, melodic. So the big difference between this one and all the others is that it's actually two different scales in one. Uh, the first part of the scale is going up. G, B flat, C, D. Now instead of playing E flat, I'm going to play E natural. Instead of F natural, I'm going to play F sharp. So if you just played these three notes, or four notes, it sounds like you just played a G major scale. However, things get very different on the way down. You move your second and first finger back. G, F natural, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Now notice B flat was constant for all the minor scales. So no matter which form of minor that you play, you are always going to play B flat. And that's what makes the scale a minor scale. Um, now let's talk about those last couple notes there. E, F sharp, G, on the way up, on the way down, G, F natural, E flat. So it's a weird minor scale going up and a natural minor scale coming down. So let's try the whole thing. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F natural, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. And of course this can be used for the upper octave as well. So... Fourth finger low. So those of you who are adventurous and want to do the second octave, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you're playing viola, you have a shift on A string. Okay, so going up, E, F sharp, G, going down, F natural, E flat. That's the biggest thing to remember. The arpeggio is, guess what? The same thing as it has been for the last two different scale types because they're all minor scales. Minor arpeggio is the same for every single one. All right, so happy practicing. Bye.